for Melbourne Ports. Deputy Speaker, what's going on with the mob opposite? What kind of government is it that uh, seems to have lost the basic ability to count, one of the most important attributes in politics? They have advanced a uh, proposition to the Senate on uh, the issue of 18C racial discrimination that they know will be defeated, just like they uh, advanced the, the, idea, the idiotic idea that um, Australians, including many of the decent people opposite, um, should support an extradition treaty to China, knowing that they didn't have the numbers. Three weeks ago in this, uh, in this place, I signalled uh, in a speech rejecting a report of the Joint Select Committee on, on uh, Treaties that uh, uh, Labor had its doubts about uh, passing this extradition treaty. Uh, was it reported in the newspaper, uh, in The Australian? Uh, the government seems to have lost the ability to understand politics. Fancy tantalising our Chinese trading friends with a, a treaty and then withdrawing it in front of their faces. Why, we, in a diverse, racially harmonious country like Australia, a success story, are you unfixing something uh, that has existed for many, many years? I might say for 11 years of the Howard government. 18C and 18D, the two provisions of the uh, Racial Discrimination Act that uh, have seen uh, harmonious relations between all Australians maintained, um, are going to be abandoned, as the uh, member for Batman pointed out, uh, because of some ideological group, ginger group, in the government that doesn't represent many of the good people on the other side. It's completely non-understandable why you would put up these resolutions and discredit yourself, these positions and discredit yourself when uh, uh, you know they're not going to be successful. Not only were the, was uh, uh, 18D and 18C provisions of the Racial Discrimination Act completely okay for the 11 years of the Conservative Howard government, but I want to give you some examples of the kinds of things that perhaps uh, uh, should never be seen or supported in the Australian public. There was a case before uh, the uh, um, Equal Opportunities Commission um, uh, of Olga Scully, who repeatedly distributed anti-Semitic literature in letterboxes in Launceston and sold and offered such literature in a public market in Launceston, offending and confronting many people. She said that people who were victims of the Nazi genocide were stealing people's money, that they were frauds, etc. How many times does this have to happen now under this new reframed act, according to the government, for a similar judgment to be made against people uh, like uh, this Ms Scully? Is it, as Andrew Bolt suggests, five times they have to be abused before the cock crows? I think the current Australian system works well. We have a great country. We have tolerance between many, many groups. We have the doctrine of the fair go. Of course, all kinds of procedural fairness at the uh, Human Rights Commission can be adjusted to see that only serious cases are considered. But um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, particularly when you know you're like the Judean People's uh, Liberation Squad, the Suicide Squad, that's pictured in that Monty Python film, where they all kill themselves and they have no, no result at all. There is going to be no change to the law uh, because the Senate will block it. Why advance it? Why destroy public harmony in Australia when we've got a law that existed for 11 years under John Howard? I want to thank the honourable